So hello everybody. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I filmed the last time. This is like four months of collective thrift in haulage um, all at one time. So I hope you're ready. Um, you can see kind of the beginning of it right here. To begin with, I'll go ahead and do the one pair of shoes that I got. Um, I got these. These are Sam Edelman, I think. And they're originally from Nordstrom. Yeah, Sam Edelman. Um, they're originally from Nordstrom and I got them online on eBay um, for $48 and I think they originally retailed for like 100 and something, maybe close to 200 159 is what they originally retail for and I got these for $48 um, which is ridiculous and they fit me perfectly um, I'm a pretty true eight and a half um, I have really wide feet so sometimes I do have to go up in size for the width um, but I typically don't buy that because I want to pretend that I actually wear an eight and a half and everything um, but anyway so these are an eight and a half and they fit me exactly to a T. I think they're gorgeous and they're this like nice like chestnut brown color um, like a really nice mid-tone brown um, and of course they're gonna look better the more I wear them and you can actually roll the cuff down too um, and then they have like the interior zip and then like a short heel. I'm not a huge fan of heels to begin with because I am already 5'8 um, but yeah I thought these were really nice and I wanted to get some like this to wear with the jeans I have on now um, I didn't think about it so I started filming, but these are a new pair of jeans. Um, they are my first pair of like boyfriend fit jeans, and honestly I'm in love with them. They fit me so well, and they're not stretched, like they have a little bit of rippage. Um, but I pretty much tend to wear only like black, gray, or dark denim. Um, so I kind of went out of my comfort zone again and got these boyfriend uh, cut jeans. That's why I got these boots is to wear with these boyfriend jeans like a little bit cuffed up. And this next thing I got from Forever 21 to wear with that kind of style of outfit with like the boyfriend jeans with the little boots and stuff. And it's a pair of these polka dotted socks from Forever 21. These were super cheap. All their like accessories are really cheap. Um, Dagmar's at my feet so um. And she doesn't like when I spend attention on anything other than her. But anyway, these were $2.90, so it's just a pair of like gray and white polka dotted socks. And I thought it would be really cute with those boots on um, with these. And then like my pants cuffed up so you could see the socks a little bit. I thought that would be really nice. I decided to go ahead and get another set of like nose rings. Um, and I had my industrial pierced. Um, but the last school I played at, I played, or the last school I went to, I played soccer. And I had to take my industrial out for a game one time and it closed up. I had had it for three years and somehow I just forgot to put it back in for like two or three days and I could not get it back in. I was like crying trying to get it all the way through. Um, so now I just have a hoop in the front hole of the industrial and it was honestly hard to get this hoop in there um, even though this hoop, I don't know what gauge these are. Um, yeah, it doesn't say what gauge these are but um, my industrial piercing is obviously a lot larger than um, what these hoops are because these are like for your nose and stuff. Um, oh, it's 22 gauge. I believe my industrial was like a 12 maybe? I honestly don't remember. Um, but it was pretty big and so I could barely get this through the front hole so that's just how much it's closed up since then. Um, but yeah, so the back hole is completely closed up. The front one is what I put the hoop into and then I got this hoop. Um, I don't know, it's just a really cool detailed metal. I liked how it looked, so I got it. It's just different than like a plain silver ring. It has like um, stamped, like you know how you have like stamped metal where it has like the imprint in it? That's what this kind of hoop looks like. And then I also put the third hoop that it came with into my um, cartilage over here. So I have this side pierced on the back end, and then the front part on the other side has a hoop in it. Um, I kind of want to get a more, another piercing or a tattoo in the near future. I've just got like that itch again, so especially now that my industrial is like closed for good, like I really miss my industrial. And I've been thinking about getting my septum pierced, but I'm just not sure that I can commit to that. Um, I might end up getting it done and then just taking it out if I don't like it. I mean, it's not going to be that expensive and it'll be cool to just get done for the, just to know, like I'd rather try it and then if I don't like it, I can always take it out. It's not a big deal. Um, or I can just keep a retainer in it or something like that. 
but yeah so um that is what I got from Claire's and the last thing that I got that was not a clothing item was this um, this is so random but I'm kind of in love with it um, it just matches our like house and our style and it's like super old too I don't know it says it's made in Italy it's like a cast iron um, I don't know if you put incense in it because it has like these little ridges right here or maybe it's an ashtray I'm not entirely sure but it's like this hornet I think I don't know if that's like a honeybee I don't know what it is but it looks like a hornet um I think it's really cool and it's been sitting back here on this table um, and then sometimes I'll put it in the living room I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet but when we move into our new apartment um, which we're moving at the beginning of the July and I'm so excited because I cannot stand our apartment we have right now I cannot wait to get out of here but um I think I'm gonna find a good spot for it on like a bookshelf or something when we move but this was kind of expensive it was seven dollars so yeah okay so the other thing I got from forever 21 was this scarf um, it's pretty basic just black and white what is this gingham I don't think this is plaid I think this is gingham um, kind of like checkered scarf and it's absolutely massive um, it could be like a shawl even probably I won't wear it as one but it's huge and um, it's like one of those blanket scarves basically and it'll go with a lot of stuff so um, I know it's not really scarf season anymore but this was $8.80. So I'm not sure if this has been shown yet um, in a video, but I don't think I've filmed since like Christmas, honestly, so I'm pretty sure I have not shown this yet. But it is this awesome skirt. Um, it's totally my style. But yeah, so it is a midi length. It looks really long, um, but it's about midi length and it has this uh, detail right here where it's a little bit of a different pattern. Um, and then it has like an elasticated waist. It doesn't say what size it is. The brand is Karen Leslie. Dimer is laying right on my pile of stuff to show. <laughs> this is like the epitome of how she is during anything I'm doing. If I'm not paying attention to her, she knows, like she'll figure out what I'm trying to do and then lay right in the way. So like right now I'm trying to show you clothes, so she's going to lay on top of the clothes. She is obnoxious, but... But I love her! Do I love her? Yes. So yeah, um, <laughs> but anyway, so I think this is awesome, and it's like a heathered gray, excuse me, no, down, stay, so, sorry, I had to tame the beast for a second, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it has a slit in the back as well, and it's like kind of fitted, but I think it would be really cute with like a white um, I have like a white cotton tank that I might wear with it. It's like a, not a tank, it's like a sleeveless boxy cotton top I think would look really cute with this with some black sandals or something like that. So I'm really excited to wear that once it gets a little warmer. And the next thing that I got, and I'm sorry these are all kind of mixed up, um, I didn't really sort them out beforehand, but this is from Goodwill as well. And it's so not something I would have picked out. Like it's something that I would have looked at and been like, oh my god that's so pretty but I can't pull it off. But I decided to go ahead and get it anyway because I think my style is changing to be a little more clean. Um, but yeah, it's it looks a lot better on too. Like I know this kind of looks really weird, but um, it is a Tommy Hilfiger floral printed button up dress, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It has an awesome pattern on it. It kind of reminds me of like the Rifle Paper Co. I think that's is that what it is? Like they have like those cactus printed. Um, phone cases and stuff. I think that's what this reminds me of. Just like the details and the flower and stuff. But it has this awesome floral pattern and cuffed sleeves. I'm a sucker for cuffed sleeves and then it has two front pockets and it was $5.99 but I think it was half off so it was only like $3. So yeah, I think it's awesome. I love it. I'm so excited to wear it this summer. I need to get back into wearing dresses. I used to wear them all the time but now I'm just kind of really lazy and all about comfort and to me shorts are more comfortable than a dress is so yeah I'm definitely gonna get back into wearing more dresses okay so the next two things were just two basics um and I actually lost this shirt for a minute because <laughs> like I we we're going through our house getting rid of stuff before we move is that you talking are you trying to talk to she's ridiculous um 
but I thought I lost this shirt for a minute like I thought I had maybe worn it and then like misplaced it somewhere but I ended up just being in my closet because we're moving so we're getting rid of stuff and I like cleared out half of my closet which by the way I'm selling some of my stuff on a Depop I just created so go check out my Depop and um, go buy some things if you want to um, of course you don't have to but um, go take a look and see what I have listed it's kind of exciting because like I never really sell stuff like occasionally I'll sell stuff on eBay but that's so much different than having like your own like kind of online storefront as a Depop I think it's really cool um, but yeah, so like I said, I thought I had lost this shirt, but it was actually just in the end of my closet because I had reorganized everything. Um, and it is a Forever 21 tank, and it was $3.90. Um, but for some reason, I just ruin every white v-neck I get, so I have to keep buying them. And so I just got another one. I should have grabbed like three or four because I know I'm going to end up ruining them somehow. Um, but yeah, living with a dog with black hair and then... A boyfriend that has red clay on all of his baseball uniforms I tend to not keep a lot of clothes that long because it ends up getting ruined with his clothes so um, yeah anyway I just got a white v-neck and the next thing that I got is another basic um, I needed some like plain shirts I got a white one like this too but I didn't bring it because there's no point in showing two of the same thing um, but I found two of these shirts and it's just a plain not crew neck what is that I don't know what the neck name is for that, but um, like a rounded neck, uh, long sleeve shirt. So yeah, I needed some. My other ones got ruined in the washing machine. So I got this one and it was $4.29 and the other one was $4.29 as well. But once again, they were both half off on blue day at Goodwill. So they were each like $2.15-ish each. Okay, and the next top I'm absolutely in love with, if I could be a shirt, this is the shirt I would be, and I'm sorry it has dog hair all over it, but Dagmar sheds so much, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I got this when I went to Forever 21, and if this is not the most perfect shirt you've ever seen, I don't know what would be. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous on, like it just fits me so well, like it was tailored to me, so I'm absolutely in love with it. And I wore it to my brother's graduation. Um, I should have taken a picture of me, but I had a pea coat on so you couldn't really see it. Um, but it fits me so well. It fits me perfectly. Like, it's so flattering. Like, I'm not very busty at all. So it definitely makes me look a little more well off than I am um, because of the pleating. But yeah, and then this part here is super flattering. The ruffle part is really flattering. Hey! Dagmar is chewing on one of Ben's baseball hats. Um, but anyway, so it fits really well and I love it and I honestly should probably go back and get some more because it's a shirt that I'm going to wear forever. Like, And I know Forever 21 stuff isn't too well known for quality, so um, yeah, I love it. And it has a little zip, like a half zip in the back. And it was, I think, $12, maybe $11.80, something like that. Okay, and the next shirt, I also had this for a really long time, and I actually went to an art show recently and wore this with a gray hooded vest, um, some black skinny jeans, and my black Oxfords that I got from Target, and it looked so cute together. I loved how it looked, um, but it's just this black and white polka dotted, um, like three quarter length sleeve shirt. It's actually probably like a little... It's like high waters for your arms. Like it's supposed to be a little shorter. It fits well everywhere else, but I think it's supposed to be just a little shorter in the arm. Um, and then it has like this hidden button front and then a pocket right there. And I don't know, I really like it. I like shirts that come down like lower instead of like higher up. I don't know, it just fits really well. Um, and it's sheer, so I just wore it with a nude bra. You couldn't tell that I didn't have anything on underneath besides the bra. Um, but yeah. I like it and it's neutral and it goes with everything okay so the next thing I got from a store uh, what was it called I think it was American thrift I'm pretty sure my mom came to visit me over spring break and I think she came like a week later from my brother's graduation um, so anyway we went to American thrift and I found a ton of stuff um, and this is one of the things I found um, I don't know how in love with it I am though. I, I mean, I love a flannel, but like it feels super thick because it's double layered, but when I actually wore it, it just, the wind went right through it. So, I mean, flannels are supposed to be warm, 
and it just is not warm so I don't know if I really love it because I mean I like the colors and everything but I have other ones that I like more so I might not be keeping this one but yeah it was like I don't know I think this was like three or four dollars at American Thrift okay so this next shirt I love as well this one I got from Goodwill and it was I think like four dollars I think this is full priced um, it's a Banana Republic top like old school Banana Republic and it does not look as good on camera as it does in real life but it has like the little string front right there and it's long sleeve like super long sleeve um, and it's just like this nice like like ribbed knit shirt and it says it's made in Turkey I don't know what material it is Dagmar has been chasing her tail for the past week straight I don't know what just made her realize that she has one now and that it's worth chasing, but it's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. And that's what she's doing right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 100% cotton, so it's super comfortable. Um, but this is what I was planning on wearing with um, the jeans I have on now, the boyfriend cut ones, and then those brown Sam Edelman booties. So yeah, I think that'll look really cute together with like a brown handbag. So these next two tops are almost identical, but I found one at Goodwill, or one at American Thrift, and I found one at Forever 21, so I thought it was kind of neat to show you that you can find, like, similar stuff at Goodwill as you can that's, like, on trend right now, but this isn't really, like, a trendy piece, it's something that I would have, like, I'll always wear this shirt, I hope it lasts, um, it's kind of thin, but yeah, I hope it lasts a good while, um, but it's just this black detailed it's like a cartoon character like how the outline of the characters are aligned in black and like all their contours are aligned in black that's what this reminds me of it was 12 11.90 um i got it in a medium because it was the last one they had but i really like it it's super simple and i can wear it with a lot of different things and it's super lightweight for summertime and it's just really clean looking i don't know i really like it but the one that goes with that that i got from american thrift that i thought was pretty similar um, this was $2.99 and it's from Ann Taylor Loft. It's not the exact same, but I thought it was really similar with the black and white, it's super thin material, and then the back has this tie, which I thought was super cute. Um, it's not tied all the way right now. But yeah, so it has a long, uh, thick band at the bottom. So on to the last few things, there's only like three more things left. Um, this I got from American Thrift as well, and it was $9.95, and I actually paid full price for this. Um, I don't know what came over me, but I just really liked it for some reason, and it's totally not something I ever would have imagined myself wearing. And once again, it doesn't look as good on video as it does in real life. It's kind of looking a little oddly shaped. Um, but it's this J. Crew shirt in a size 2, and it just has this really awesome, like, tribal-esque ruffle around the top and on the back and it does have every ruffle it looks like it's missing some but it does actually have every ruffle there's a little spaced out um but yeah and then on the sleeves it has this awesome like threading kind of lace stuff it just looks so cool and i honestly haven't even tried it on yet so i don't know how it fits but i just thought that if it didn't fit well i would like i don't know cut the sleeves off and make it into a tank or something because i just am in love with this whole like pom-pom fringe kind of thing going on but yeah it was $9.95 full price kind of painful but I really liked it um, and it was J. Crew in perfect condition Dagmar is having a heart attack right now what is wrong with you don't you go Like she acts so dramatic and she like won't be moving at all and then I'll say her name and you just hear her tail start thumping. Adorable. Um, okay, so the last thing that I got from thrifting was once again from American Thrift. I got this the same time that I got that flannel and um, the pink shirt and then that gray and white long sleeve. It is this shirt from Ann Taylor Loft once again. It's an extra small but it's a really big extra small. Um, but yeah, it's just a plain white shirt with this awesome kind of like punched out edge right here and right here and I thought it would be nice and there isn't a lining either so like I would have to wear like a nude bra or something with it um but yeah I thought it was just kind of neat for a like different kind of basic white top 
It also has this tie right here. I'm gonna need to iron that bow because it's so crinkly and I thought it had some cool details and it was $3.95. The very last thing I'm going to show you today is a shirt that I got from H&M and it's pretty basic. It's just a black and gray um, baseball tee. I was looking for um, to find some like baseball shirts anyway so I ended up getting it and I think it was around 10 or 11 dollars something like that but it's super soft um I don't know what material it is but yeah it's super soft and I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it especially in the summer because it is so lightweight it is polyester and polyester I don't know why they split it that way but it literally says 65% polyester and 35% polyester so 100% polyester is what they're trying to say. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that is the last shirt I got. Probably, definitely for sure, a lot of stuff I missed. There's a lot of home stuff too, because we, like I said, we're moving um, into a new apartment. It's crazy to think that we've been in this one for a whole year. I honestly am so ready and like, can't believe I've wasted a year of my life in this place. I'm just kidding, I've been in school, I've been like doing stuff, so it wasn't wasted. Um, but yeah, it will be a good feeling to live in a safer neighborhood, in a bigger apartment. Um, and it's actually a really pretty apartment too. Like I'm super excited to decorate it. It's like all white walls. It has a white, like awesome like fireplace. Um, not much closet space. That's one of the reasons why we went through and got rid of a lot of stuff in the house right now. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to decorate it and to kind of like show you guys what we do when we decorate. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for uh, new videos coming up. I know I've been posting some like short films lately. Um, really it's just to like show you guys that I'm alive. I am doing stuff for school. Um, so I just kind of thought I'm making videos anyway. I might as well kind of like show you guys kind of what I'm doing. Um, if you hate those, just let me know. I'm probably going to make a separate channel to put those like more professional, professional videos up. Um, or at least like a portfolio channel um but yeah so tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see and what you miss like are thrift hauls kind of like the number one thing i feel like those are kind of the number one thing people like to watch um and i will be doing some more lookbooks and stuff like that um that's probably my favorite kind of video to make those are the ones i started making way back in the beginning um but hopefully i can be a little more consistent with videos coming up so um, just be on the lookout for that and cross your fingers for me that I can get everything organized and on track. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and also, I know, I'm sorry, I keep running on, um, but I'm gonna try to do like a Q&A kind of video because I know I've gotten more subscribers since I started, obviously, so I kind of want to see, um, like what everybody wants to see and like what everybody wants to know about me, if anybody wants to know anything about me. So just let me know, ask me some questions in the box below in the comment area, um, and go check out my Depop and see if you want to buy anything. Um, and go create a Depop for yourself because it's such an easy way to like kind of create like a marketplace um, to sell stuff. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and be on the lookout for more videos in the future. Bye! <laughs>